Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com and this is part one of our invasion video on Kingdom 18, which is where we went this last weekend. Uh, this one's split into two parts because it's about uh, 30 minutes long and I don't think anybody wanted to sit there and listen to me talk for 30 minutes. So we're going to split it into two, you can expect part two tomorrow. And uh, this is the beginning of it right here. As you see, port into K18, tell the Alliance it's time, let's do it. And as you can see there in Kingdom chat, we had quite the crew that came along. And so we're going to go and immediately set a rally on the king. And that's why we went to Kingdom 18 in the first place. Because when we're scouting, that is the easiest way to find a target. Is you find a kingdom that has somebody that you think you want to burn that's king. Because they can't shield. So you know they're going to be there. They'll be able to be hit. So we pour it in. Pour it right on top of the king to start off with. You see all the fillers uh, and the other rally leaders all porting in. Dizzle's coming along and he's got a lot more research than me and hits like a truck. So... I'm telling him to set a rally, set as big as he has, and we will fill it up and see how it goes on this 10, I think he's almost 11 billion, actually. So you see Dizzle sets Cav here. I built a whole shitload of Tier 6 Cav and infantry and archers. So I'm going to be filling Tier 6 for a while, at least until it starts to hurt me a little bit. <laughs> so Dizzle sets this rally, and even though I encouraged him to set as big as he had because we had plenty of fillers, you see that we didn't fill it. So he's going to reset the rally so we can all march boost and get in there. We've been running into some issues during Invasion with the uh, rallies actually getting filled too quickly by several people with large marches, uh, just because it's a lot of fun to go as a rally team. And we take some bad hits sometimes, you know, some, some of us do, some of us take a little better hits than others. You might remember the Invasion video last week where most of us took pretty decent hits. I don't think anybody got crushed. This week, we had a couple fillers that got beat down pretty bad. But as always, working towards it, or working on the research, working on the troop counts, working on everything else like that. So now you see this one. We get up to 3.9 out of 4 million. So we're going to launch this one here in a second on the king. As you can see, he's Academy 30. He's got the Academy 30, Citadel, Fortress, whatever you want to call it, skin. And I'm telling Diz, I think uh, I think that's about all we're going to get. So he's about to launch this Cav rally at this guy. It lands in two seconds. And even though it's only three seconds away, we still all rally March Speed Boost it immediately because why wait three seconds if you can land in two? So you see the big red number that popped up right there. It looked like it went pretty well. So... And you see Dusha get dragon burned up at the top there. And that was one of those hits I was talking about. But, so this first hit right here, 15 million troops dead out of a whole shitload of them. And you see his boost right there. He's got 2,000% cavalry attack. That tells me he's wearing cav gear. So I'm expecting a cav stack on the bottom tier. But he's not really. He's still split. That's why we killed as many as we did. But he does have a shitload of tier 1. So we killed uh, some of his siege. We killed a decent amount of his other types of troops. We killed very little infantry, obviously, because we sent cav. And you see here that uh, we're sending all Tier 5, Tier 6 troops for the most part. And he held up pretty well. And that's going to be for a specific reason that we'll go over in a little bit here. But we were rather disappointed in this first hit, as you can see. Tier 4 didn't get any kills. So that means we can't uh, burn through that uh, that whole meat shield that he has using only Tier 4. If he did burn to Tier 4, we probably would have kept on rallying and just kept on hit sending Tier 4 at him. Uh, but now you see this... Uh, I'm calling him the Hamburglar. I told him that in Kingdom Chat. I'm just going to call this guy the Hamburglar from now on. Dizzle sets a rally on him. I fill it with all T6 infantry. I'm going to pour it up next to him in order to fill, so I don't have to use a whole bunch of speeds. But this guy is the one that has been uh, just wrecking our fillers. So he was ported off screen, and he was hitting our fillers. So Dizzle sets again. He sets all archers this time. I'm going to go ahead and fill it with the archers. And he's pretty big. He's around 8 billion. Uh, he's online, obviously. He's 7.5 billion, and he's online, obviously, because he's been uh, burning people. Hurt a couple of our fillers, and so we're going to fill this rally up. See, uh, his alliance immediately ports in around him and starts reinforcing. So good uh, good ups to them. HS, good job supporting your guy. You guys were very active in Kingdom Chat the entire time, too. Made this invasion a lot of fun. And we ended up hitting quite a few more of them uh, as well. In part two, you'll see me hit that Death by Red fella right there. The uh, Citadel 29 sitting next to me. So... This guy right here decides to drop shield at an inopportune time for him. I think he's hitting Zoot, uh, and Zoot is really good about people uh, getting people to drop their shield because he's just filling rallies with Troop City Reses right out of hospital. So I solo this fella, speed it in. We're still waiting on Dizzle's uh, rally to fill as much as possible. But what happened here is, well, number one, I zeroed the guy. But number two, the reason he dropped his shield in the first place is because Zoot goes on all these invasions with us, and he fills rallies. With troops that he got in his hospital. He re, uh, resurrects him, fills him, goes. And so you see, here's the hit on Ferg. The Hamburglar. Not very good. 
8.2 million hit uh, killed, 60 million survived. So he had around uh, 71 million troops to start with. If you look at his gear there, 554% defense, quite a bit of attack, 550% HP. That tells me he's wearing Dark Lord gear. So as soon as I see the Dark Lord gear, I kind of expect the uh, the siege deck. We, uh, we we pretty much know what's uh, what's coming whenever we see Dark Lord gear like that. And there it is. We killed 8.2 million of them, injured 3 million of them. So he's pretty well built. He's pretty solid. We're not going to want to keep hitting that. His Dark Lord's pretty high. He's got over 500%, 500% defense and HP. That is not the best target I've ever seen. And even though I said we're not going to want to keep hitting that, you can guess we're, we're going to hit him again here in a little bit. And that, that's another solo, just checking it out. And Kingdom 18 was a surprising amount of activity. I thought we were going to be able to uh, hit the king, maybe zero him, if that uh, worked out for us. And, but no, these guys, these guys poured it in. They wanted to fight. You saw him, 1.7 bill, pour it up next to him, send my uh, tier 6 infantry, and just speed it all the way in, hit him, and let's see how the hit went. And it went really, really well. Killed uh, 19 million troops, 125 million power on one hit. Killed about half of his, or a little bit more than half of his troops here. We scroll down, look at his gear, try to find out what he's got. You see right there, 503% enemy attack debuff. It means he's wearing guardian gear. And you see he's wearing guardian gear, and now he's shielded. But what I'm saying right here is I should have tripled him. And that's what uh, a lot of big accounts will do, is they will send all three types simultaneously, speed them all to land simultaneously. That way, if you are a single-type trap, you're going to get hurt. If you're a siege trap, you're probably going to hurt them if you're built real well. That's why I usually only send one, because I've only got about 15 million tier 6. I don't want to just blow them all, all into one dude uh, real quickly if he's really well built. That one, uh, hindsight's 2020. I should have sent a lot more troops to that guy because I would have uh, gotten the kill and gotten the zero. Now, C2 ports on to the Hamburglar. So I go check the report again on the Hamburglar, and I want to see what he's got. You see 30 million tier 2 siege. And you see me say, C2, I think we should leave him alone. We only killed a little bit of his siege. But uh, C2 uh, disagrees. As, you know what? I do too. So we go with the uh, fuck it, Phil. And I solo this guy while I'm waiting. And you see now why we hit the king so softly. Dizzle says he's in the wrong type. So Nemesis gets hits for 45 million, uh, zeroed. Didn't lose any tier 6. That's why tier 6 are so dangerous, because they just don't die. And they kill a whole lot. But C2 still got his rally up. I'm going to go ahead and fill it, even though I think it's a bad idea. And even though, well, we kind of know it's a bad idea at this point. But we don't really invade kingdoms to save troops. So... Yeah, no, we're just going to go ahead and fill this rally and see how the hit goes. Uh, maybe maybe it goes a little better if we send the right type troops and everything else like that. I get confused right there because I think my march boost has dropped, but in reality, his uh, rally is just almost full. So Dizzle tells us that he's been sending the wrong type dudes to his marches. So now I'm a little bit more excited about this. And now I think maybe we're going to hit this guy, Ferg Burfle, a little bit harder. So you see C2 launches the rally. It lands. He burns. Let's see how it goes. Awful. Nearly capped us. Very close to a cap. Too many power off a cap. If it weren't for those uh, hospital troops, then we he would have capped us. And he teleports out of there. And as you can see, I say no more hits on the fur burger. And so, if you're watching this, well done. Well built. You're a very good rally trap at 8 billion power. That's a good take. So, moving forward, we're just going to keep on looking around Kingdom 18. Uh, it's actually gotten active. There are some people that say they're a little bit disappointed with our performance in Kingdom Chat, so I apologize for that. But there's uh, Dizzle's hit again. I'm checking it out, checking all the boosts and everything like that. And this is on the King. So I'm trying to see what we did wrong here because we're thinking about going back and rallying the King again. And we are going to go rally the King again here in just a second because Dizzle said he sent the wrong type troops uh, with the wrong hero. So based on those results, if he had the wrong type of attack, then I think we're going to go ahead and go and take another shot. And that's just because if that first hit went so well and we sent the wrong type troops with basically no attack, then that means that the next one's going to light them up like a Christmas tree. And so that's what I'm kind of working through right here as you see me typing in AC, basically everything I'm saying to you guys. So I'm going to go look at the report again. I'm going to slowly go through it. I'm going to look at his boosts, and I'm going to try to find out what troop type he is stacking in or troop type defense and HP is stacking. You see he's got cav gear on. I'm going to go say that in AC, and I'm going to tell... Everybody, let's set infantry on this guy because he's wearing cav gear. And it seems counterintuitive because he's got a lot of cav HP and a lot of cav defense. But the reason we're doing that is because I want to know if we're going to be able to zero this guy easily or not. 
if we're going to dump a whole lot of troops into him, I want to get a whole shitload of kills and I want to do it quickly. So what I'm going to do is, and what we're going to do is, we're going to set an infantry rally on him, even though he's wearing cav gear. Number one, because I assume he's got more cav troops, and I saw the report and saw that he does have a decent amount of cav troops. We killed most of his siege on the first hit, and we're going to see how bad this hit goes when we're hitting into his protected type using our leverage. We're going to see if it works out better, if we get a lot of kills or not. <clears throat> and we also know that tier 5 is going to burn him because he has very low tier 6 count. So with all those factors involved, what we're going to do is we're going to send infantry at him. We're going to try to wreck his very well-protected cav. And if we're able to do that, I know we'll get a quick zero on the guy. And this is going to be a good target for us. And we can also hit him with tier 5. You see, now I'm talking to Ferg and uh, KC, telling him good job because he nearly capped us. Dizzle sets another rally on him. It's all infantry like we talked about. I'm going to go uh, budget mode and send half tier 6, half tier 5, which, you know, sometimes you got to do that, especially when you look at your reviver cost. And the cheaper revives on tier 5 mean that it is very much worth it to find targets that you can zero with tier 5 and hit them. And so that's why I swapped to tier 6, tier 5, because I looked at the report. I saw that he was low on tier 6 troops, which means my tier 5 troops will do damage to him. So now we're going to start setting tier 5 rallies on him. I'm still sending half tier 6 just because I'm a kill whore and I want to make sure I get as many kills as possible. And also it looks way cooler whenever you hit really freaking hard. So 4 million rally on the king, part 2, here we come. And you saw C2 said he scouted him. So we know he's not offline now, but I still think we're going to crush the dude. So this is with the right type troop and the right hero. And let's look at how this one went. This time we killed almost 40 million troops out of his 140 million troops. So we killed a very good amount. Go check the details, see what went down there, and you see that we killed nearly all of his... He's got Tier 1, and we killed almost all of them. He's very low on Tier 1 now. So the next hit, we're going to get into Tier 2. But we also saw that we killed... This is the first hit on him. Way worse, because we sent the wrong type troop. You know, mistakes happen. It is what it is. But you see how much fewer troops we killed on him in that first hit when we sent Cav into his uh, Cav gear. And so now you say you see everybody saying, let's keep going, let's keep going. But the problem is, he's reviving his Tier 1. And that's what I was looking at in that first hit. I wanted to see if he had all those Tier 1 in that first hit, and then he revived all of them. And he did. And generally speaking, if I'm hitting somebody, and I'm only killing Tier 1 or Tier 2, and I'm dumping Tier 5 and Tier 6 into a wood chipper, I'm not going to keep going. Because this is the revive cost from just the part of the video you've watched so far. About 700 million revive points. And you see how much cheaper it is for me to revive those tier 5. That's why I blow all those revive herbs and revive them. It, it went really... The tier 5 cost is so much reduced now. And you see, I'm going to go in and I'm going to collect all my invasion rewards as well because we got a shitload of kills off of that guy because we killed all tier 1. But what I was getting at was he's reviving his tier 1. So we're not going to keep on just dumping rallies into him. He's having a great old time. He thinks it's awesome. He's killing tier 5, tier 6 troops, and he's losing tier 1. If he were offline and he weren't reviving, he would have been zeroed in about 10 minutes. Maybe less than that. But because he is reviving, we're not going to keep on hitting him. The good news is there's still a lot of fighting left in Kingdom 18. We don't hit that guy anymore, the Furburger, anymore because uh, he is a vicious rally trap. But you see, the king makes the cardinal error of teleporting directly onto the rally leader, and he's basically begging for a hit, which means we're not going to give it to him anymore. So stay tuned for part two. Get some pretty big solo hits, get some more rallies, uh, get to farm a couple billion resources, actually. And it goes uh, pretty well. Stay tuned for part two. Should come out tomorrow. Give me a like, give me a follow. This is The Bake with ironthronecraft.com. Leave a comment to join our line room. And maybe we'll be seeing you next weekend, specifically you, Kingdom 38.